It seems like Toyota has an SUV or crossover for every niche in the market, and the Sequoia is their largest and most in need of an extreme makeover. By all accounts, the Sequoia resides on a platform that is over 10 years old. It's heavy and clunky, but don't let that stop you from buying this eight passenger body on frame sport utility vehicle that starts at $49,000 for an SR5 two wheel drive and tops out at $68,000 for a four wheel drive platinum. Under the hood is a familiar powertrain, the 5.7 liter 381 horsepower V8, which also powers the Tundra and Land Cruiser. No turbos here, just raw V8 power. Fuel economy is not one of the Sequoia's best features with a real world combined MPG of 14. Our test vehicle was well worn with over 10,000 miles. The leather seats had clearly been around the block, supporting the asses of many automotive journalists throughout its tenure. The Sequoia's interior is highlighted by an infotainment screen that offers little functionality in a diminutive form factor. The buttons were large, cheap, and lacked the refinement of some of the Sequoia's competitors. The seating and cargo area are functional, but unimaginative. Driving the Sequoia is a chore. It lumbers along like a bear waking up from hibernation. It needs all 381 horses to move that massive body, which rolls quite a bit on sharp turns. But despite all of its flaws, the Sequoia is still a Toyota, and a decade from now, it will still start up to faithfully schlep you and your family wherever you need to go. What it lacks in premium refinements, it more than makes up for in raw desire to provide truck-like transportation with seating for eight. On behalf of the driver's seat, I'm Ron Doran. Thanks for watching. Yeah.